Yo guys, I just got a package from China. I got it from Shopee and it's all the way from China guys. Look at that. Let's see. Okay, basically it's arm pong. Stick it there. I'm not gonna show you this, it's a bit blurred out. Just that it's there. Okay, let's open this package. It took only um, 4 minus 7. 11 is uh, 7 days. Six and a half days to get here, which is awesome. It's very thick of a packaging as well. I always hoping there's another box within a box, <laughs> but you know, at least the cushion is a bit tight. Wow, it's heavy. In wind. So you can see that max gain. I don't know what's that for. Shopping is 150 watts, um, a good kind of power supply. It's from Inchin, Shanghai. Shanghai? I thought it was Yangzhou. Okay, uh, it's made in Taiwan. It's 2.58 kilograms. Net weight is 2.32. Anyways, we got the chopping, guys. I really, really love this case. Can't wait to unbox it. Okay, let's unbox it. Wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. I love this silver so much. Oh my god, look at that. Nothing in the box. Gotta chop in. Ow. The packaging, the, the packet is like that. I don't want to see this because I already know what is it. So, slowly. Oh. It's really warm because, you know, it's been in the van for like, in Malaysia of course, it's hot. It's well conditioned guys, it's well conditioned. Wow, there's a heft to it, it's a bit, it's quite heavy. Oh. So I need to test the power supply is working on it. That's my main concern. But overall, the build quality is superb. Oh. Sounds like plastic, but it's not. It's metal. 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 Metal, I guess. Hmm. It's all the way, so it should be metal. Alright. There's a bag, you can see the power supply is right over there. This is how it looks like. A little bit of tiny details that some YouTube videos doesn't show. Alright, use that kind of screw. I don't know, I don't kind of not liking this. This looks like a, you know, like a book. But it's okay. At least the airflow is good in this one. The power clicking buttons. That's how it sounds like. That's a USB 3.0. That's a hole there. So it's suspended. You can see the airflow right over there. Okay. You can see here the rubber. It's not sticky, just it's a bit glossy as you can see. There's a screw mount right over there. Two more screws on the top. Airflow. Okay, that's a two LED indicator. So it looks like from the front, pretty clean. The back here, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not digging this actually, but not really into my taste. I don't like this, but this one is okay as well. Again with the book thing. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Yeah, that's how to open this. If we have a screwdriver. By the way, let's us compare with a uh, EW60 Realin. Like so. Almost the same height. There, just a tiny bit different. But in terms of thickness. Almost the same as well. Oh, I don't want the scratches. Yikes. The silver on this one is different compared to this one. So I like I'm liking on the in-win more. So
yeah let's see the inside from this one as you can see that is how it looks like okay in that case this is motherboard the io on the left so what i'm going to do is the same thing so the size comparison here this size that's like two boxes on my fingers which is compared to usb up to here yeah that much of a difference only but one thing about this the airflow is not good because it gets really hot up to 80 celsius on this one so i'm waiting for the uh, 40 millimeter two fans exhaust later on but so far of course every time you get a package from someone from somewhere you have to test whether the power supply works or not and the buttons that's all let's open this bad boy how to open this okay wait i have to do this i have to turn on anything i don't understand how to open this i don't want to read the manual guys i just want to figure it out myself is it like a tip thing fine i read the manual all right yeah just slide it in slide out slide out slide out it's pretty tight I do not to open this hmm. What you want me to do? Oh, okay Hang on You have to lift this, I suppose Then, push The hell? Dude, what the hell? Oh, okay. That's it. What the hell? So, that's how it looks like. A typical any case. So, you have to lift this up and push a bit and then you get it off. Alright. So, the inside, we are gonna get this 3M and the promised colored versions of this. This is a setup power cable of course okay and then you get an international I'm um, in Malaysia we don't use this so basically this for China European I don't know no no China and America no no it's China you get another note like this all right get these cables these cables is the IO cables yeah, the standard, uh, those cables. Okay. You got still the, uh, this is a power supply, 24 pin. You got the 4 pin. You got the 4 pin as well. And we got, uh, I don't know what this. I forgot, it's a 4 pin thing. So, PX. Then you get the, uh, HD audio. And, uh, USB 3.0 Let's cut this off Basically that's it guys 24 pin PC Setup Powered 4 pin 4 pin And uh, 4 pin So you have to have a converter 4 pin to 8 pin Thank god I have it from here So I just switch this out This is a 4 pin Let's pull that out later on Alright so Now it's to transfer that thing to here See that? It's impossible. I need to make sure the cables. Oh shoot. What if I just go without it? Oh okay, it means that the IO panel have to be not inserted yet. So So let's say it's that that way. To put the IO panel together with the board. I don't really, this is not my norm, doing the IO panel first on the motherboard. Let's say in this case. Okay. 
Oh, it does. It does work. Wow. Okay. So I have to push the eye panel a bit then. Oh, it does work, guys. So, don't have to squeeze that much. Okay. So, I'm just going to screw in the, uh, the board then. Whew. That was a close call. Oh, shoot, guys. The 8 pin. Got it. Nice. So, snug that way. Continue screwing this other board. Okay, very nice. Put a plan over here a bit. Okay. Everything snug in. Oh, I hate this. Uh, okay. This thing first, I guess. 24 pins is the easiest. You could have made like a one switch thing because this is so troublesome. Finally, got that thing right. Okay. Wow, what a long ass USB 3.0. Why did they do this? Oh my god. I don't like this. I think I could have made it shorter. Be easier. I think I should plug it first, then I put that way. This is what? It's the audio, right? So, yeah, I should be down below there. P2, P2A, P2. So, what's first? This first? Okay, 24 pin first. Let's go deep below. Okay. See that? That is my shroom you guys gonna have. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, the USB 3.0 is so much of a trouble here. Oh my god, how can you make this so long? Oh my god. So this one? Wait, I need to snug this in first. Oh god, it should be at the back though. Oh no. This thing should be at the back. It should be like that. Please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah! Can. Oh god, what is this? No, 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 no. Slowly, slow it up, up. Oops, it didn't easy. Yeah, can. So, it's possible to do it later on. That is the only hole. Okay, at least I can use this for the future. Okay. The USB 3.0 is a mess. I better put the RAM first. Okay, it's not. <gasps> USB 3 though, that's a mess. This is a mess. Everything is a mess. It's like organs. Okay, then what? Uh... See, the USB 3 is jolting out, guys. This is not funny. It's not funny at all. Okay. Okay, okay, this one I can hide it this way. The HD audio is so much of a trouble as well. And why is it so thick? Okay, I think there's a curve later on with the with the the casing. This is so dangerous. Yep, it's the best I can do for now. <sighs> stay there. Just stay there. Okay. Okay, guys. That's the best thing I can do. Let's close this. Let's get that. You can see. Just, at least they understand that. They could have make it a bit, you know, or even accessible. The screw at least for me to open up from the front. But anyways, it's manageable. Oh, whatever. 
Put that uh Whoa, okay, it's not that heavy, it's okay. It's pretty solid. The back panel is also thick nicely. Now the moment of truth is to power supply this thing. Let's do this. HDMI. Check. No way. No f***ing way. Okay, this is a mess. Yes. Yes way. Alright. It's included. Don't worry. Formulation as well. Ta-da. Boom. Let's change the video. There's nothing on the yet. Let's try. Ta -da! Should be prompt from there. Yes, it works. Oh, so beautiful, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful, man. Let's compare side by side the EW, okay? All right. Side by side. This is the front. But basically not much of a difference. It's still small and it's super quiet. Did you guys hear anything? Yeah. Guys, okay, so already done with the build. It's pretty easy and manageable as you can see. Already done the size comparison, the thickness comparison. That much, that not much of a difference. Uh, it's really quiet. I loving it. It looks more uh, manageable in terms of cable. I don't have to bring a power brick. The power brick is already here inside, so I just use a 3.5 pin cable. That's it. I can just throw in the back, and that's it. Call it a day. I'm gonna put the phone mic near to the seat computer. Hear anything, guys? Nada. Zero. Not to Awesome. So yeah, looks good. It looks really clean, guys. I got the silver one. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. The back. The LEDs. Now I'm gonna put it the other way around. As you can see here. The it looks like a PS one size kind of thing looks good it's really quiet guys wow that looks beautiful you can still see you can still see okay bye guys hope you guys Enjoyed the video, my journey from EW60 to in-win chopping uh, ITX case. Uh, it runs well. Let's test the uh, the last bit is to test the is to test the USB whether it works or not. Where's my mouse? Okay. It does work. Yep. Let's test the temperature. Guys, this is major improvement. 33 Celsius. The only way for us to test it is to test the game. We so yeah, just plug this M.2 enclosure. Let's try again. It does pop out very nice. You can just press uh, it's at 34 celsius now okay let's play that space okay i'm gonna show you guys later on after playing some games after a few minutes wow yes after playing some games it goes up to 47 celsius only which is a good good um good sign so it's still quiet though so it, it works guys i really recommend this case if you guys not on a tight budget, it looks good and it's really portable.
tips of portability it's an example of a bag of a Xiaomi bag does it fit? I don't think so because the last time I made a video it fits in an iPad so this is not an iPad size just want to show you guys the comparison see it does not fit a standard HP bag okay it's my laptop over here so does it fit? of course it fits I'm gonna take out the laptop for a while. Well, who needs a power brick like this, hey? Just to be careful of the antenna, actually. So you put it like that. Come on. Yep, basically it. And uh, bring this. And just pop that in. And zip it. So this kind of HP bag works. No one would know that you're carrying a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5. Or whatever computer inside here. It looks good. So let's take it out. Pull this out. And take this out. Hoorah! Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Please uh, support me by subscribing, and leaving a like and leave a comment. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys want to know more about the chopping in any certain angle, just comment down below. I try to make a video for you guys. And yeah, I think this is my last kind of uh, project because I've been spending a lot of money on ITX cases. I think that's about it. I'll be venturing some other computer builds, but not, no more ITX for now. This is the best of the best, I think. I got it and uh, it's here. It's compact, it's powerful. I'm just waiting for the Ryzen uh, 3000 series for the Ryzen 3 3200G so yeah can't wait for that okay guys have a good day